Hello everybody, it's your girl Tiffany, AKA Eprel, and welcome to Tiffany's Introspection World. <music> y'all this is part two of me officially becoming a high school graduate this video pretty much is going to be about how i passed my last and final ged math test now i know there's going to be some people that's going to ask me about science and social studies i have some videos on that but i'll also link down in the description some different uh packets and tools that you can also use for your other three subjects which is language arts uh science and social studies but this video is the most important because it's the hardest subject out of all the four that you must take to be able to get your ged i am from florida and in florida you only need a 145 and up to pass with the grace of god and with the strength that I never knew I had, I ended up passing over a 145, and that was with a 153. How did I do it? Nothing but God. But with that being said, I wanna go over what I did and the resources that I use to help me move along my journey. Of course, um, you have to study. I ended up having to take this GED math three times. Yes. My final and last attempt, three times the charm, I took it July 1st and finished very strong. I just remember walking back to the car and thinking, God, I did everything I could do. And once I got the email, all I saw was congratulations. And I just started bust out crying for 15 minutes. 12 whole years, 12 whole years has finally come to an end. I proved everybody wrong, even myself. Let's start off with the resources, the plan. When you are trying to do this GED math test, you need to get you some books. And I know you guys, if you've been rocking with me since my first ever GED video, you should already have seen this book here. Yes, and that is this GED Mathematical Reason and Prep 2015 book. And this one is the original from <laughs> back when I was 23 years old. This book was like $10. And as you can see, I have like these little paper separators because that's how much I was indulging into studying this mathematics. And I even um, started making like flashcards, like got some flashcards like this and I would write on the back of it, you know, everything that I needed to do and understand. So if that's something that is going to help you, get you some flashcards. Also got this book as well. This is the 2014 Mathematical Reasoning book. This is more of a workbook. So it just gives you, as an example, it gives you a lot of uh, workbook type problems, you know, on math. This is a very useful book that was really good for me because it gives you workbook stuff. It's not gonna be like this, that really goes in depth of like what slope is and what is polynomials and all of that. This is more or less like time to get to work, show me what you got. So I would only recommend this book or any workbook like this if you really have got the back story of all these different mathematical um, you know, problems and things like that. So. I would not recommend to just buy this book. This is just a workbook. This is just a book that you just work out of. They give you questions, you know, like this. And this is actually using slope. And this is definitely gonna be on the test, okay? So 
With that being said, I definitely recommend to get you some math books. These books, you can get them at Amazon. Uh, you can get them from the library. You can get them from Barnes and Nobles. Um, no worries. I'll have everything that I'm talking about listed down in the description box below. So don't worry. Just follow. Just follow. Also, I recommend that you get a dry eraser board. Yes. And a marker. Okay. Because this is very important because you want to be able to do your problems on this board. You want to be able to um, make sure that, you know, you're understanding, you're working the problem out yourself and not just watching somebody because I don't know, like, you know, anybody else. But for me, I'm more of a hands-on type person. I have to like feel it, touch it, see it, do it, work it out to really understand it. Because watching somebody do it is not good enough for me. It's not going to help me retain it. Now, some people are visual learners. Some people are hands-on learners. Some people are, you know, they can listen and, and, and comprehend it, but everybody's different. OK, it doesn't make them better than you because they can just listen and retain it. It just means that you have to physically write it down. So get you one of these dry erase boards. I got this one particularly from Walgreens, but you can get this anywhere. Target, Walmart, Walgreens, the Dollar Tree, wherever you need to get a dry erase board. This is very, very beneficial. OK. Also, you do want to make like some folders like I did um, that pretty much has all your notes in it so you don't get crazy because I'm trying to not have you guys all around the world like I was. I didn't have no structure when I first started the GED math. The GED math had me everywhere. I didn't know what to study. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. I didn't know. So I wanted to make like these folders or get some of these dividers like this for the paper so I can remember where I stopped. It'll have you all over the place. This here is the GED Plan GED Prep Live Math Test Post Assessment Answers and Explanations. This here is what made me pass. I will link this in the description box below, so do not worry about it. It actually gives you different problems that are actually on the GED ready test when you do take it, as you can see. Um, I'll give you the link so you guys can actually go more in depth, but definitely those GED Kaplan packets helped me a lot. I'm telling you, um, it has different ones. It has the post-test one. It has geometry and data. It has um, algebra. It has even science, language arts, and social studies packets. So I'll list all of that in the description box below. I would literally go through these packets and just do it over and over again. Once again, on my white dry erase board, and I would look at the questions in the packet such as this question um what is the value of five squared take away two squared and i would just write it on this board and i would just go through these packets these packets are literally just like the test it's literally just like the test so i want you guys to look in the description box and I will have this. Now, this is just a printout. It, is, it does come in a PDF file, so no worries. I just printed mines out at the time because I wanted to um, not have to always keep getting on the computer. But this is definitely one of the reasons why I passed. I have all of them. I ended up just looking on Google and I ended up finding it. And I was like, wow, this is just literally like the test and the GED ready. So more, most definitely click the link in the bio so you can get your packets, you can print them out, you can look at them on your, your um, computer and just go over it with your dry erase board, whatever it is that helps you um, study and retain the information most definitely. And I would definitely recommend that you get you some of these type of folders so you can have all your notes in it. Um, if you wanna print it out like I did, you can do that as well, okay? All right, so let's talk about 
the different tools that I use. Now we did the dry erase board, we did the books, um, we did the GED Kaplan packets um, that I will definitely link in the description box for you. But there are other resources that I used as well. And that's gonna be YouTube was one. And also I purchased a program called the GED Plus. When you log on to www.ged.com and you log into your portal, there's so many different resources. GED flashcards, GED ready practice tests, and even a GED plus that you can buy. Now it is $119, but it is worth every penny. I'm telling you, it comes with practice tests, drills, videos, um, lessons. It comes with everything that you need to pass the test. I'm telling you. I did it before I got that system. It's Aztec. It's through Aztec and it's through the GED testing program. And I'm telling you right now, if I did not buy that program, I probably still would have been here like struggling to pass math. That was a huge major part in how I passed. I would do all the drills. So I did go ahead and print out a packet of drills that come with the program. Once again, this program is $119 and you can buy it through the GED.com website and it's called GED plus. Now it has all four subjects, but just remember that when you pass those subjects, you're not going to be able to purchase it because you've already passed it. They're only going to allow you to purchase the subject you didn't pass. Just FYI. But these are the different um, drills that come with the computerized um, Aztec program. So this one here is under plots and graphs. This is a very important packet to have or a drill to study. It comes with 10 drills per subject. So this is plots and graphs. So you'll have one to 10. Um, polynumerals, you'll have one to 10. You'll have all of these things and you would have to go through them. And if you get them wrong, it'll give you the answer and the explanation, and it'll give you everything that you need to answer these questions. This program, the GED Plus, definitely helped me out. You can, um, what I did was I just literally used my snipping tool and I just snipped and just screenshotted all the drills and that's how I was able to print it out. If you're on the computer, it is not gonna allow you to print this out. It's a computerized um, program. It's not gonna let you print it out, but you can do what I did, use the snipping tool and just print out all the, the areas that you need to study and just go over them. Also, what I did was I looked at a lot of videos in the Aztec program um, for different subjects, because I'm letting you know, the test consists of four different topics. And those four main components are very important when you're going to take this GED test. I'm telling you, the math test. Definitely utilizing um, the formula sheet is going to definitely help you. I am letting you know that right now. You need to get very um, acquainted with the GED formula sheet. When I first started GED math, I thought that this was a waste of time. I thought that this was like, I was like, what is this? And I would just throw it to the side and would never use it on the test, seeing how I, I felt it twice. So definitely utilizing the GED formula sheet is your lifeline. Definitely buying the GED Plus Aztec program is your lifeline. But I also have to mention YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. 
okay now i have to go ahead and look at my paper here real quick because um there are some youtube names that i want you guys to know that help me very 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 much there are three major youtubers that help me achieve my ged and those three major youtubers are GED Micro Learning. She is amazing, y'all. GED Micro Learning. All the, the videos, questions, explanations, all matched up to the, the real GED test. The second YouTuber that helped me tremendously, his name is Wise Videos. If I'm saying that correctly, that's W-E-I-S-S videos he was amazing he's a math teacher i actually um heard about him because i was in a ged a facebook ged group and somebody wrote look at mr y's videos and i was like okay you know let's let's see let's see what he is about and i really enjoyed his videos I mean, he has an amazing tone. He takes everything slow. He highlights everything. He goes over everything. And that is what you're going to need to pass this thing called the GED math test, okay? And lastly, math tutorer DVD. And if you don't find him under there, just look up math and science YouTube channel. And I'll link it here too, so that you can see the icon of how it looks, so you don't get confused. But those are the three major YouTube channels that helped me pass. And I'm talking watching it day and night, night and day. I was literally at work doing schoolwork to get to July 1st and passing it. So it's a lot of sacrifice, y'all. But I'm telling you, the sacrifice is going to be worth it. I cannot even, like, still to this day, it's been two days in, and it still feels unreal. It feels so unreal. But I did it, and I made it. And I know that you guys can do it. I'm telling you, if you just study, 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 indulge, buy the right materials, don't overextend yourself. Don't go out here doing what I did, brought all these books. And half of the books that I brought didn't even have to look in them because I used YouTube. I used the GD Plus program. I used the GD flashcards. I made my own flashcards. I used the dry erase board. I used the GD Kaplan packets. And all of that helped me, to be honest, more than the book. So... It's up to you. It's how you want to study. It's how you want to achieve your um, testing power, okay?